Abaribi DS Bori reveals what it will do if it DS takes this step against IPO. There has been a form of crisis in the recent week. Many Nigerian politicians have reacted heavily to the world exchange between the president and the governor of Benue State, aside from the world exchange between the governor and the president. Many people also reacted to the alleged statements made by the NBC. According to Nigerian News, a Nigerian senator identified as Senator Abaribi has said that he would not maintain any form of silence or refuse to do anything if President Mohamed Buhari dares do what he planned to do against IPOP. He said he is in support of the freedom of the people and he will remain their supporter. He said, no matter what anyone says, I am behind them. You see, Abariwe said that the fight the IPOP are fighting is a fight of justice. The IPOP are demanding for freedom with peace and not violence. Abariwe stated that I will not take it lightly if President Mo Buhari does what he planned to do against the IPOP members. President Mobari has been doing these things and he has been going scot free. But this time around, I will show him what makes me to be a senator. Abaribe called on the IPOP members to remain resolute. He said, You know your rights, defend it, stand upright, remain resolute. Oyendo is in detention of a truth. But it will come out. He, speak, he spoke saying that President Mopari has an intention. That is why he first prescribed IPOP the moment he came into power. But then the world uh, is aware of it. No matter what Buhari does, or no matter the step it takes, Mazen Nandekanu will surely come out of detention. I will do all within my power as a senator and as a representative of the people to see that Martin and can get out of that detention and to put shame to the eyes of the enemies of Biafra. Abari stated, he said that Buhari has an hidden agenda and that agenda I will surely reveal. It's a question of time. He concluded. Sir <laughs> Eyinanya Ebiribe. In fact, this guy, this guy is too. It's just too much. It's just too much. I won't lie to you. See, um, Abaribe, Abaribe is a fearless politician generally, and aside from that. He is a strong supporter of the high pop. A strong supporter of the high pop. A very fearless one. And I value his personality. He doesn't care of what you say about him by supporting the high pop members. He doesn't want to know what the people are saying. Even why. Even what his um, co-governors are saying. He doesn't care. He doesn't want to know them. He doesn't want to know if they are even existing. That's what I'm about about it. And I love him for that. I love him for that. You see that? If you remember vividly well when he was uh, he was chastised for wearing uh, the dot uh, polo, you know, they claimed they are going to attack him, they are going to arrest him, they are going to do this. They are going to do that. <laughs> Abaribe was just looking and laughing. He said they should come. Since then, to this very moment, have they been able to do anything? Have they? See, let me tell you, my dear viewers, 
IPOP is a is is a is a free group. It's a group that is free from violence. All of those allegations you hear consigning IPOP, attacking prison, attacking stations, setting uh, uh, stations ablaze and all of that. Let me tell you, all those things are lies. They are only doing that, saying that to spoil the image of the IPOP. Do you understand? That is what they are doing. That is their plan. I'm just telling you the whole truth. That is their plan. Okay? Did you listen to the NSCDC speak this morning? You know, there was a viral video going around that IPOP attacked the NSCDCs, set their, their station ablaze, hijacked their vehicles, kill some of their uh, personnel and all of that. The NACDC uh, top security personnel spoke this morning. He said that nothing of such ever happened, that IPOP is innocent of that allegation. That IPOP is innocent of that allegation. That, that nothing happened to any of their personnel. That there is nothing of such that happened that nothing of such ever happened nobody attacked them none of the none of the none of the personnel were, 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 were attacked or killed that everything is okay you see that this is what you're saying Nigeria will never never change never change and it's wrong they're just full of false stories Maybe they think that um, if they do that, they will be able to get IPOP, you know, blackmailed. Because they see that the, the international countries, organizations are already throwing their support for IPOP. You see that? All these things centers on the reason for the agitation for Biafran freedom. You understand? That is it. So, my dear viewers, let us be wise. Let us be wise. And not always in conclusion. You understand? Let us not be, 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 be in a hurry in concluding. Let us um, make findings before we start concluding. All right, so please, I I throw this challenge to you as well. To come in and air your own opinion on this very issue. Do you understand? Air your own opinion. If you're new, click on the red subscribe buttons, as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.